pretty to but she has to decide for herself. That's what I said to Pete. I said, listen, True Doms would never know. It's not, because he did the same thing to me. Right down to the cigarette flicking and calling me a bitch and hitting me and everything else. So, no, it's not. Yeah. Well, no matter what you say to somebody in it, like, she probably doesn't, like... <sighs> You know, I, I I was just there, so what can I say? You know, like, I was just in that spot position. And so I know what it's like. You don't feel sane. She's probably not sane right now. Like, it's obvious she doesn't seem okay. No matter how much she comes on and covers for him. So that's it. And th that's the point. There's nothing you can say to somebody like that. Like, you couldn't tell me, right? You guys were so frustrated with me. And I was just like... I don't care, I don't care, you're wrong, you're wrong, fuck, whatever, you know? But I wasn't even like that, I find, because, like, for me, like, every time something like that would happen, I would come on and expose it right away. <clears throat> I hope no one ends up dead. Huh? I hope not. God. She knows how I feel about it, like, and I, you know, I said my say, and that's all I can say. Just stay away. Oh, God, yeah, of course. There's no fucking question in my mind. Are you kidding? Like, he's so gross. So disgusting. Like, I honestly didn't think he would just deny everything. Like, really? Like, and then people still supporting that? Like, on video. Like, are you gonna tell people that you're really insulting people's intelligence when you tell them they're seeing something they're not seeing? That's what gaslighters do. That's what gaslighters do. But not everyone is aware. Not everyone has self-awareness. Not everyone has a fan base or audience to help them open their eyes you know like before this i had no idea what, really what narcissism what gaslighting even meant you know so it's like a lot of people don't even know what it even means she's in denial of course you're in denial that's one of the fucking it's a, this is textbook you know like i was too you know it is what it is it's fucking fucked up and horrible and If you can watch that and see how he hit her and still support that, that's messed up in my opinion, but whatever. That's the thing, like he doesn't realize all his problems are brought on himself He for the way he is. And I truly believe that in life now, you're not gonna get away with shit. Karma will get you. No, the eyes. Oh, Yomi. I paused, like, I don't, I paused after I seen the whole thing. I would pause, like, I would go back, pause, read comments, which I shouldn't have done, but that's what triggered me. <sighs> I don't feel strong right now at all. Even, even if he tries to say the smack was fake, everything else about that ab behavior was abuse. Very abusive. I'll, I'll explain something. Whenever people were like, why, when he smacked her, she's quiet. Because did you see him? He, no, when he smacked her, it probably took him a lot to go and sit back down and whenever he got back up and went I eat people he if she wasn't quiet he would have kept hitting her that's how it happened like if you don't stay quiet he will just keep going like it, it's a it's it's like a compulsion like for them like they can't fucking like they just keep going and going and going until it's like their rage is out so no she was smart by not fucking saying anything and and sadly that's just like you know that's like instinctively how your body reacts I guess I don't know she seemed shocked to me after. Like, after the shock wore off a bit, when she was walking towards her room, you could hear her being like, don't follow me, don't follow me, kind of thing. I just get chills even thinking about it, because I was through the same fucking thing. Same, same thing. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. Mm, I, All I'm left with right now is a burning hate for him. A burning hate. So to see his... I can't watch him, because to see his smug face after... Honestly, I do feel really fucking bad for Dee Dee. The way he hit her like that. I can't even fucking... If I seen him hit her, I would. it would haunt me for life. Like... Oh. Take what to the police? The, the video? How can the... Honestly, I think... I don't know. I'm like, honestly, just... At this point, I think people would just fucking laugh at me. I texted her and I was like, get the fuck out. I was like, kick him out? What are, I will, f like, honestly, like, I would be there for her if she really needed to. I'm not, you know what, no matter what, like, honestly, think of our beef. Honestly, Dee Dee, at this point, I think, okay, let's say this. Let's say this, Beezers. If Dee Dee agreed to finally fucking leave him, 
We would let her on the channel. We would party with her, right? We would fucking help her recover from it. Absolutely. I would help you build your platform. Because honestly, the beef with her was because of him. That's it. Like, that's what it was. And at the end of the day, she's a human being who's going through the same shit I was. And now that I'm not emotionally involved like it, like in a jealous sense, I don't, I just want, I just want everyone to be safe. Like, and that's it. She just has to say what he did. Yeah. And the video is proof. Yes. She has legit proof. Legit proof. I didn't have video proof or nothing. I had nothing. Removing any subjectivity you have in this case, in this, in this at all, this person is in danger, whether you like it or not. And that was very evident from how he treated her in that video. And it hasn't changed. It's probably gotten worse because, I mean, he doesn't even acknowledge what he did. Yes, nobody deserves that. Nobody. Maybe him. He does. Gonna take him being jailed or police to get out of her house. And then once he's gone, she'll start slowly realizing it. Honestly, like let's go like let's go to Electric Avenue and pick up hot Moroccan dudes. I know a few who would totally fucking take you out. You don't you can do so much. It's so hard to see it though. It's so I understand because like fuck I was just like so obsessed with him. She's acting out of character, just like I was. Like she even said verbatim, You're, he makes me do things I don't like to do. And I remember, didn't I say that over and over? He makes me things do that I would not morally be okay with. Like lying to so many people to protect him. Yeah, that's my problem with it. These people don't care about anything except for their clout. Like you're making it like a fucking entertainment show, somebody's life. So, okay, maybe you have that up on somebody, but that's your karma, like that's disgusting. Like, to be hard in comments, victim shaming, like, especially Dee Dee, like, you, it's obvious you're just fucking jealous of Dee's position. So if you want to be in her position, like, you sat, like, number one, like, s supposedly if Jennifer Corvina was not in into him, why would she sit on that information? Like, you literally see a man beating the fuck out of a woman, and you do nothing for months and months until it suits you. It suits you for revenge. That's fucking horrible. I'm sorry. You're sick in the head. You're just as sick, if not more. Absolutely. I eat people. Oh, he kept... One time he said something like that. I kept... He kept... Said... When he's angry, he always says that. He says the same shit when he's angry. He's, he's been fucked up. He's unhinged. He has nothing left to lose. And Didi, he said to me so many times, don't fuck with someone who has nothing to lose. Think of your... Again, think of your mom... What she would think if she saw you being smacked the fuck by somebody you're pay whose bills you're paying. Because he's asked me to borrow money to pay you back. It's all on the table now. There's no hiding, there's no going back. But you can move on and get a, have a good life for yourself. Like, why do you think so low of yourself? It makes me sad. It makes me sad. And it makes me sad to think I ever was like that. He's a predator. And he's proud of it. He's a proud predator. He's sitting there all smug, like... I'm not on my couch, I'm not smoking my cigarettes, I'm not drinking my coffee. On the iPad I gave you, I bought him that shirt, like you have nothing, name one thing that you paid for on your entire being in that crappy suitcase of yours. Like Dee Dee, God, I know, like he's so not worth it. So, um, but my offer stands, if you want help making a platform and you want to have some fun, we can let bygones be bygones. All of this fucking shit was because of him. You know it was. I've said nasty shit about you because of that. Because you guys were lying. To be fair, Dee Dee, you guys were lying to me the whole time. You were doing me so dirty. And I know it's because you loved him. And I'm willing to fucking forgive that if you save your life. Like, just get out. I, I forgive you. You know what? It's not even fucking important. Like, I've said nasty shit about you. You've said nasty shit about me. At the end of the day, you need to save your life. That's it point blank period because he will I just have a really bad feeling and it's to the point where even the audience members are like this is dark and something a storm is coming like a storm is coming all we can do is warn you I was where you are you know you've seen it you've seen what I've gone through do you want to be in my in my position 
you could be in my position. You could probably have a channel. You could have a good life. You can meet someone else. Like, I met three hot Moroccan doms, real doms. Beautiful bodies, beautiful men. You would love it. I'm telling you. Say the word, I'll send, I will fucking hook you up with a better life. Say the word. Text me. And I will fucking, I will, I will kick him out. I will fucking call the cops. Get him fucking removed for you. And I will help you get your life back. Absolutely.